Hey library friends, it's Miss Georgina and today I will be showing you guys how to make tile coasters and um, you have already picked up your grab and goes from us and in those grab and goes you will receive four ceramic tiles that look like this you will have received some Mod Podge. I have measured it out in little cups for you. You will also have gotten a sheet, or actually two sheets that look like this, and they are the little squares with the decoration that, that will be going on your tile. And lastly, you will have gotten these cork backings that are adhesive. So um, at the end, when we're are all done, we can go ahead and um, pop these on. So it's up to you. You can either put them on after you're done or you can put them on before. So I think what I will do for you guys is I will show you, um, like I will put it on two of them before I do it and then I will do uh, the other two after they're done and dry. So um, let's get started and have some fun with this, all right? Um, you will also need, which I did not provide in your grab and goes, a scissor, a brush, and some newspaper or paper towels so that you can put it on your table where you are working because we do not want to get Mod Podge on tables or countertops because it's glue and it may be a little hard to come off. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Okay, we're back. So what we are going to be doing first is you are going to take your two printed out sheets and you are going to go ahead, grab your scissors and just cut them out. Um, they are preset to match the size of your coaster. They may be a little, little bit bigger than the tile itself that it's okay I did that just um, in case you cut into it a little bit too much but it should be fine so let's go ahead and um, and cut these bad boys out and see uh, what they look like all right know I am cutting very close very close to the edge um, I'm not really leaving that much white space uh, but it's totally okay if you accidentally cut a little bit into the color um, because like I said before I did compensate and I made them a little bit bigger just in case so if that was to happen, please don't worry about it. It will be fine. And all your coasters will look different, even though they have the same designs. Um, it'll be okay, I promise, I promise. So now all our um, cutouts are done. See, they will look like this. How precious are these? Okay, um, and now before we go ahead and Mod Podge these on, I'm gonna go ahead and um, add the adhesive to uh, your tiles before for the first two before we go ahead and put those on so like 
I had told you guys these are adhesives so the back is a little um, glossy covering that you just you pop your nail in there I don't know if you could see this so you pop your nail in to a corner and then you just go ahead and you pull and that's sticky so you're gonna go ahead and take that and you're gonna take your tile and you're gonna put it on this gridded side which is the back side so you're gonna go ahead and like kind of feel it out measure it out um and once you feel that it's in the center you can go ahead and press it down and now the only reason I'm uh, doing this is because we do not want tile coasters to go on our tables and scratch the surface. So the coaster will prevent that from happening. This cork, um, soft cork, will prevent that from happening. Um, so we have one. And then let's go ahead and uh, put the other one on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the camera real quick. All right, I'm going to pop, pop in. <laughs> pop you guys pop not poop pop in uh the second adhesive on my second tile right here and you're gonna just gonna lay it down flat like this and i'm going to it's a little too much on that side And I'll put it right there. Okay. Great. So now that we've done this, what you may want to do, I did it to mine already. Um, I should have waited and shown you guys. You can grab uh, just a dry paper towel and just swipe it over the surface just to make sure that any dust or um, powder from from the ceramics back comes off and is not stuck on there when you go ahead and put your first coat of Mod Podge. So um, let's do the two that don't have any adhesive backings so that when we do these, these are drying, okay? So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to move these to the side real quick. These are your two uncorked backs. Um, like I told you, please get some newspaper um, or some sort of covering so we don't get Mod Podge everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and add, uh, open my Mod Podge. And I'm just gonna put some on my lid right here because let's do that. It'll be easier than scooping it in. I'm just gonna put some on here. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're obviously gonna pick which one you want to use first out of all these beautiful, full inspired ones. So I wanna go ahead and do the pumpkin spice, everything nice. And um, you're gonna put a, a light coat on the tile. So just put it on the entire surface, just like so. Just entire surface, just soak it up, you guys. Um, depending on the brush that you use, it may um, leave behind a little brush hairs. I'm not sure what the right term for that is. Um, so if that does happen, just feel free to like swipe them off so it doesn't leave a little bump for you. And now that that is all done, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on uh, my little sheet here. Okay, mine got a little lopsided. You can, um, you can move it a little bit, finagle it. Um, and then what you're gonna do after that is done is you're gonna take um, some more Mod Podge on your brush 
and you are just gonna go over it because then it's going to give it that glossy um, look and it's going to seal it in to the tile. So let's go ahead and just do this real quick. Um, please don't freak out with that noise. It's my fridge and for some reason, it always does that noise at all times of day. It's not a monster, I promise. All right, so this one looks like it's all set. It looks a little bubbly. Um, that was my fault because when I stuck it on, um, I told you guys it was a little lopsided. So let's leave that there so it can dry. Let's just leave that one right there. And now we're gonna go ahead and do the second one. And I'm just gonna take my Mod Podge. And I'm gonna move it a little bit closer to you so you can see what's happening. Let's paint it on. You're just painting with glue. Um, and for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and do the orange um, background one. And all right, here we go. And then this one, I really want it to sort of be centered for you guys. So I'm going to measure. Perfect. See how that one looks so totally different. No bubblies. Okay, so now we are going to take our additional excess Mod Podge and we are just going to paint it right over the sheet. Um, you can do one coat, you can do two coats. Um, don't really go too crazy with Mod Podge. It's a little goes a long way. Um, so what you may wanna do is um, the edges, if the edges aren't folding, if you have excess edges, um, you may want to just wrap the Mod Podge a little bit so it wraps to the side of your tile. Um, all right, I think this one's pretty good. Um, if you do see that the Mod Podge stays white on there, don't worry. When it dries, it will become clear and it will look glossy. It'll be fine. So this is our second coaster. So we are going to go ahead and set this one to the side as well so it can dry, all right? And now we are going to go with our other two. And we have autumn, the autumn um, little picture and we have the heart of leaves. So we are going to go and do those. I'm going to grab some more Mod Podge in my brush and put it on the lid. Um, and I believe I gave you guys about, uh, I wanna say half a little tub. So that should be enough for you guys um, to, to do the project, so. Let's uh, go and do these last two.
So now that these are all done, um, we are going to let these two dry. We are going to check up on these. Um, and so they look like this. This one's a little bubbled up, um, which is totally fine. You can press down on the little indents and it sort of smooths them out. Um, but like I said, that one was my fault because it was the way that I put it. Um, here you can see this one and it's totally not bubbled up and it's totally fine. And it's dry right now. Well, it's still a little sticky. Um, however, you can go ahead and take your adhesive corks and um, place it on the back uh, because you will not be putting it upside down. You can just hold it and, uh, and, and stick it on. So let's go ahead and do this. Can you guys see this? Yes, okay, here we go. Um, we are going to go right about there and stick. Just press it down real good, real good. And you're all good with that one. And we can go ahead and do it on the other one as well. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and see your space. Measure it out, eyeball it, and boom, done. So now what you can do for these that you just put the cork backings on is you can try to put a little bit more Mod Podge on there um, just to seal the edges on. Um, so like right here, like right here, I was telling you how it's lifted up. So you can go ahead and brush some Mod Podge on there and then you can sort of fold, fold it so it sticks to the side and it's not a sharp edge um, coming out at you. Um, so you can do that and then I think this is the only one that had that problem. Um, so we can go ahead and set that down. And you can uh, do a another coat on all the other three coasters um, just to seal it in, give it that extra little gloss if you want. Um, if not, it's totally fine. It's up to you. And this is the completed view of your beautiful full tile coasters that you've made yourself at home with me. Um, let me just brush this on so I can see you guys one more time. All right, here we go. We're gonna let that dry. Um, don't forget to clean up after yourselves at home after you've done this wonderful project. Um, put all your stuffs away and um, I'm gonna pop you up. Hi guys. Oh, I can see your faces. Well, you can see my face. But um, these are your um, wonderful tile, full inspired coasters that you've made with me. I'm so excited that you signed up to hang out with me for a few minutes and learn to do something new. I really hope you enjoy making these coasters. And please, please, please feel free to email us any pictures of your completed coasters. We would love to see those. Um, and I hope to um, do another program for you guys soon. So take care and have fun. Bye guys.